What's going on my friends? It's Logan here with Logan's Lessons back at it with another guitar tutorial for you guys. Today we are learning Happy Anywhere by Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani. This is a fun and easy song to learn on the guitar and if you appreciate this guitar tutorial it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified of my future videos. Without any further ado, let's get into it. You are watching. Logan's Lessons. First thing you need to know is you're going to need your capo on the first fret of your guitar. Let's get it started. The first chord is a G chord. You're going to play that by putting your second finger, your middle finger, on the third fret of your E string, your first finger on the second fret of your A string, your third finger on the third fret of your B string, and your pinky finger on the third fret of your E string. It should sound like this. Good. Second chord you need to know is a C chord. Put your third finger on the third fret of your A string, your second finger on the second fret of your D string, and your first finger on the first fret of your B string. One more chord to be able to learn the intro and the verses is a D chord. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of your G string, your third finger on the third fret of your B string, and your second finger, your middle finger, on the second fret of your E string. It should sound like that. So here I should mention the strumming pattern. The strumming pattern stays consistent through the entire song. It's going to be a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And with emphasis on the second down. I'll do that a little bit slower for you. It's gonna be a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. The order of the chords for the intro and the verse will be G, C, and then D and D again, like this. So in the intro, you play that chord progression twice, and in the verse, you also play it again twice. Then we get to a fork in the road, where you're going to play an E minor by putting your second finger on the second fret of your A string and your third finger on the second fret of your D string. The strumming pattern stays consistent, like I mentioned before. So you go from that E minor to a D, to the C, and the hardest chord in the song is a C minor. I'll teach that to you right now. You're gonna put your first finger on the third fret from your capo on the A string. Then your third finger is going to be put on the fifth fret from your capo, or the sixth fret, on your D string. And your pinky is going to be right below that on the fifth fret from your capo, or the sixth fret of your G string. And your middle finger, your last finger, right here, will be on the fifth fret or the fourth fret from your capo on your B string. It should sound like that. And for that chord, you're gonna stop strumming and you're just gonna strum it one time on a down strum. So the entire verse will sound like this. And then into the chorus. I'll play that again slowly for you. C minor will most likely be hard for you, but I promise through diligence and practice that you will get there and you will nail it. Let's move on to the chorus. I like to think of the chorus in chunks, if you will. The first chunk is like this. You'll have a G chord, and then you go to an A minor 7. That might sound scary to you, but I promise it's not. It's like a C chord, but you take your third finger off. And remember that the strumming pattern is exactly the same here as well. The second chunk is just like that, but instead of giving A minor 7 the full measure, you go from C to A minor 7. So those two chunks together sound like this. Then 
this tag where you go back to the C, to the D, and into the intro. Then you have a verse that's exactly the same as the first verse with the two G, C, D, Ds, and then you have the E minor, D, C, C minor. Then we're into the post chorus, which is basically the first two chunks of the chorus. It's gonna sound like this. Right after that, we're into what we call the bridge, if you wanna call it that. What it really is, is the second part of the verse. So it'll be the E minor to D to C to C minor part that we talked about earlier. The difference here is we're not using the strumming pattern that we are for the rest of the song. It's all just strummed out in down strums, like this. Then back into the chorus. The last chorus is exactly the same as the previous two choruses, but at the end of the chorus, it's just the intro, the G, C, D, and then back to G. And that's where the song ends. That's it for this song, guys. I hope this guitar tutorial has been very helpful for you. If it has, please remember to like and subscribe. One thing before you go, I teach private online lessons, whether that be Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, etc. And I'm offering you your first lesson free so you can try my lessons out risk free. If you're interested in that, my email will be down in the description box below. Just shoot me a note and I look forward to talking to you. I hope you guys have a very wonderful day and I will be seeing you guys in the next tutorial. You are watching Logan's Lessons.